Uh, we're decades and the song is called Terrified. Speak slowly, I will listen, I will care. Keep the room between us, I will hear out. What's up guys, welcome to Stories and Sound. I'm Francis, here with Decades. How's it Hello. going? Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm nice in unison. Yeah. <laughs> Professionals. Yeah. <laughs> Been at it a while. Um, let's get started with like an intro, what Decades is, who you guys are as well. Do you want me to start? Go for it. First of all, uh, my name is Liam and I play guitar. And the band Decades, which is a rock band. <laughs> I'll give that to you. Let's do the, the holistic version. <laughs> Well, we're a rock band called Decades from Christchurch. My name's Emma and I'm the singer and I play guitar. My name is Dan and I play drums. <laughs> I'm Curtis and I play bass. Yeah, I mean, and so what is Decades like? A bit more of a... We're just a, a four-piece band from Christchurch just playing music and yeah. having fun. Yeah. We've been together for quite a long time. Yeah. Um, 
got a lot of things coming up pretty excited about so yeah, yeah and we're here in Auckland for our last show of this tour that we're on so yeah we've been together for 10 years haven't we yeah, yeah. thus decades thus decades ah yeah so that's the origin there is that it um, yes, okay, yeah. that's what we say. Now. <laughs> it was a cool name, and then we're like, wait a minute, this is our 10 year anniversary. Oh, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a little, like, sort of go over of the history of the band. Um, well, we've been playing together for, I think, we started as Ashi in like 2006. Um, in Christchurch, it was Liam, me, Dan, and we had a bass player at the time called Dove. Um, over the years, we started kind of recording songs under Ashi, the kind of more pop rock, and we lost our bass player to Melbourne after the earthquakes, and then we mm. found lovely Curtis down here. The beard. Yeah, the beard. Once <laughs> Curtis is in there, we're like, we got to take this shit serious. <laughs> Everything went downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> Everything went uphill the from there. Ruined. No. Um, yeah, so after that, we just started playing more gigs I think we actually started playing a lot more gigs after Curtis joined again because venues started opening up again and yeah. and then we wanted to a draw a crowd do more music so we <laughs> were like we need to release not just singles which is what yeah. we're doing with our old bass player <laughs> we released an EP and then after that I had a meltdown I didn't really know what we were meant to do next because <laughs> I was kind of like driving the ship and I was like wait we've released something now we've done tour what do we do and that's when we met our current manager and producer and he was like, do you want to do an album? And we're like, yes. So, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, and that kind of inspired the name change as well because the music kind of went in a different direction and now here yeah. we are. Yeah. Yeah. One song out of the album and on tour with Villainy, which is pretty good. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. essentially we're kind of like a new band again. Yeah. yeah. In essence, sort of. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No one's heard of the name. No one's yeah. heard. Well, people have heard that one song now and yeah, that's where yeah. we're at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what's... People oh. can pronounce it this time around. Yeah, ah, people yeah. can pronounce the new name, <laughs> yeah, which is good. Ashi? Ashi. Yeah, so annoying. <laughs> and we're just kind of Ashi? stuck to it. Like, no, nah, people will one day, they'll just get it. They'll but. just get it. And we're also, we kind of look at the name like, do we like it? Yeah. Like, Not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Change it. Yeah. <laughs> we were just so like a days ago, we were just like, eh. Ah. Just hang on yeah we'll just hang yeah. on to it but then Tom was like you should probably change your band name when we were recording the album we're like, yeah. Yeah. good point yep so then we all came up with like a hundred names each and then yeah. we all sat down at the studio one day we had a day, an afternoon set aside to figure out what the name's gonna be yeah. and it was just too hard I, like we had like 400 names in front of us <sighs> and yeah. then our mm. friend Jim, I've come up with one I know <laughs> I know there's some terrible ones there were some absolutely diabolical terribly ones good. in there was not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> they were terrible. Again. We've got them on a dr- oh, Google Drive file somewhere. I'm sure it'll be fun to read them at some oh, other point yeah. down the track. But then, uh, so we like sat down with these 400 names, like, Gah. well, how do we do this? How do we whittle this down? We like started reading them all out. Oh, hand vote, who votes this one? But then Fuck. our mate Jim was there and he was just like, well, actually, I have one that I really like out of all of them and I've said it to you. Tom, our producer, and he really likes it too, so it's a backup if you guys can't decide. <laughs> and I was like, just tell me what it is, we'll, we'll, we'll just use that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, it's decades, we're like, done. When they said it, we're like, yeah, good call. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that actually this works? Works? I don't even think we hadn't even yeah. got into the, that on the list yet, so it was like, oh, yeah, that one's like quite, it was quite late in the game to be added to the list. I was yeah. like, I don't yeah. think it was one that anybody had like sugar like you know picked out or anything like that though you know we all had as one of their favorites list, like, yeah it was just like mm. a floater yeah because we all kind of made our own top five each and I don't think oh it might have been on mine because it was my suggestion yeah, it was my name yeah. yeah that makes sense yeah <laughs> <laughs> Top five, all your ones. <laughs> I think that was pretty much the case with everyone, though. It was just like 10 of each no, other. No, Curtis had a real good one that I really liked that was like right at the top of my top five. Probably just a Seinfeld quote. Which is youth in Asia. <laughs> I liked that. Like youth in Asia. Well, I'm pretty sure me and Dan But then it's a cliche, so, so yeah. it is kind of lame, but I thought it was clever. Yeah. And lame at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, clever lame. Is it clever thing? lame. Claim. Yeah, no. yeah it was claim. Maybe that's a name as well. <laughs> no one take this. <laughs> claim, it's ours. We've trademarked it. <laughs> um, was it sort of like the initial deciding, okay, we should change our name? Was that kind of hard to do after being Ashi for so long? 
No, I think we, yeah. were, bit we were kind of just over it because we had resisted it for a long time. Okay. Heaps of people were like, "How's your name? You should change your name." We're like, "No, nah, no, nah, I can't bother." Like all that stuff set up under this. Yeah. But by the time we started recording the album and stuff, it was kind of just like Tom was like, "You should change your name." I'm like, yeah. Well, let's it, do it. it was in combination with the fact that we were going in a different direction. We were doing different things. And it just suited with what yeah. we were doing. Mm. We were like, yeah, let's change it. We kind of wanted because we had been doing the other thing for quite a long time. We we're like, let's try something else. You, know, you get tired of doing the same mm. yeah. thing. Plus, you grow, you mature, you want to yeah, do yeah. yeah. How long did we considering it? Like, how long did that process take of the like thinking of the names and then uh, and then actually decide it? I think we started coming up with them a couple I months. I think it's the second round of pre pro. The, yeah, it was a couple line. months before we went into the yeah. studio, so we had yeah. quite a while to. It was like every day you'd kind of look on the Google Drive, and someone's added a couple more onto their list and yeah. stuff like that. Long enough to egg Like, nope, them. nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Just delete them as people yeah. add them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What were you thinking? <laughs> Side note. I think there was some divisive <laughs> editing going on. Just like, oh, that one disappeared overnight. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually didn't edit them at all. I tried to format it so it made more sense, the whole document. Yeah. It's quite chaotic. <laughs> Did they give them a re- give you a reason why they wanted decades? Why they liked it? No, they just I think they just like sounds cool. Just sounds cool. So and then is. we so we decided yeah. to change it. And then I started after the fact because every other name that came up that was cool, we'd kind of Google it, make sure there weren't any other bands called that. Yeah. But we mm-hmm. didn't do that with decades. I've seen a couple. <laughs> there's quite a few. <laughs> there's quite a few. There's about four. You're the only one with a tick player. No, no uh, there's one from oh, the UK okay. with a tick, but. <laughs> And they've they've got an album out and stuff like that. Yeah. I haven't actually listened That's to them because I'm a bit scared. I guess we'll be but, um, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We better hurry up and like do this world tour or something so yeah. we can just be just like really we claim, claim it. it. Yeah. yeah. There's only so many words. Yeah. yeah. Decades is a cool word. Hopefully it doesn't come to any sort of a head or anything. <clears throat> yeah. Well, we've had a couple other friends go through that with their band names. Yeah. And you just threaten lawyers and stuff. And yeah. They're like. But Ooh. then you can fall back on claim. Exactly. <laughs> can always fall back on claim. <laughs> Finally end up where we're meant to be. Yeah. It feels, yeah, deep down in my heart. Like I feel like it's a true already name. Francis. Here's an origin story as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right, so along with the, the sort of change of name, there's the sound change as well. Sort of what would you describe yourself as before you just said pop rock? And where do you sort of place yourself now, do you say? Alternative rock now, I would say. It's still got poppy elements mm. that, you know, it's still quite melodic and catchy, but I think it was more, it's a, quite a big production change, like vibe and production. I think um, producers we worked with in the past who were great, but they kind of were like, tried to make us quite sparkly and, yeah. and polished and didn't let me do my yelling, my yeah. banshee yelling. Um, <laughs> So it's more, it's, yeah, I think it's a majorly a, pr- a production thing. But yeah, we, it was kind of like, um, maybe we had, direction-wise and song-wise, we'd have these songs and we'd kind of push them in a direction which was um, maybe similar of other bands, which was a problem in the mm-hmm. past. Whereas this one, we kind of, we wrote the songs and we then we spent time just kind of forming them into something that was ours. Mm-hmm. So if you say, what kind of genre is it? It's kind of like, I mean, you could, can, our old music, you go, oh, they're like that band or they're like that band. Whereas I think with this, it'd be more like, oh, parts of it kind of sound like that band and parts yeah. of it kind of sound like that band. Yeah. And they're kind of, um, you know, different kind of band. Diverse, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think we we're really, like, in the past, it was kind of like, you have your influences and you kind of try and emulate them. But with this, it was just like, just try and write songs. And it doesn't yeah. matter. Like, we didn't write them with a style in mind. We wrote all them acoustically. Yeah. And then brought them into the studio for pre-production and put them to the band. So it's yeah. like, there yeah. was absolutely no preconception of what we were going to sound like. It was yeah, just yeah. A, mainly a focus on the songwriting, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Had you sort of wanted to take it a bit, like, a bit heavier for yeah. a while? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember when, like, I sat down with our producer, Tom, and he was like, you're kind of sitting, like, with Ashley, you're kind of sitting in between, too rocky for, to be pop music, but you're too poppy to be rock music, so, like, what do you want to do? I was like, I've always just wanted to be a rock band, yeah. but it's been a struggle to find the right person who helps us bring that out. Yeah. Um, and he was like let's do an album i mean a lot of it a lot of it was <laughs> just some tricks as well like um uh you know tone wise and like and tunings and things like that that 
people bring your attention and go, I want you to try this. Yeah. And then you go, oh, you know, that's cool. Like, opens up a whole Yeah, and then it kind of changes your sound and you go, you know, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's no, uh, you know, it wasn't really like, I want to be heavier. It's no. just yeah. more like, oh, I'll try this. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so you mentioned a few times you guys have been working with Tom Larkin. Yes. What even made you sort of like initially want to work with him? Like what sort of sparked that? We have a history of kind of falling into stuff. <laughs> like every time a thing comes up and we're like, oh God, what are we going to do? The universe is just like... Kind of works it out. Here you go, bro. Yeah. So like I was... We would... With our EP, <laughs> our Ash EP, we were doing a couple shows in Australia, our first shows ever there. And I just emailed a bunch of like people that I Googled and he replied because um, I was like, come down to a show, we're from New Zealand. And he replied, I was like, Tom Larkin, that name sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Google it. Oh, shit. <laughs> so John was like, yeah, man, come to our show. Like, and he actually didn't make it in the end because he said that he had a few other shows that he wanted to go to that night. But it was a couple months later that I was in Aussie again and I was in Melbourne and I bumped into him at Biffy Clyro mm-hmm. show there. And he was like, Emma. He like yanked my arm out of the crowd. He's like... We're going for a beer. Let's talk. He's like, I'm sorry, I didn't come to your show the other month, but I do. I'm interested in working with you. And that's when we had the conversation about whether we wanted to get more rocky or, or whatever. And yeah, just from then it was, let's do an album. Yeah. So yeah, it wasn't like I didn't actively pursue him. It was it was quite interesting because I didn't even know who the hell I was emailing, which is yeah. kind of rookie mistake. Like yeah. that could have really blown up in my face. <laughs> But it didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it was lucky, and he's been great to work with. Yeah, yeah. Because he took you under his wing as far as artists, sort of like artist development kind of thing. Yeah, like sort of giving you direction and mm. ideas around all that sort of thing. Yeah, kind of made us. I mean, we we took it seriously as Ashi, but it was mm. still that yeah. level of we haven't broken through in any way. So you have that level of ignorance. You don't really understand how it all works. You're just yeah. kind of doing it yourself. So he's really like educated us on the how the hell work. to be a proper band Learn basically band. like yeah. and like with no sensitivity at all we're like oh, oh. and he's like no like this is how it works like no complaints like, okay and he's yeah. always right which is the really painful part <laughs> <laughs> i feel like he's telling me off but yeah. god damn it he's right <laughs> almost to a point where you're just like oh, i just accept it he's gonna yeah. be right anyway yeah and then <laughs> it was more like at the start that it was a lot more scary like being like oh god like but now it's you kind of just you just yeah. like it's, whatever know. he sees like yeah that sounds yeah. like it would would work yeah it's a kind of an artist thing I don't know if it's common but you know how like if you come to band practice and then like you bring a riff or something so be like oh that's not good and it's like oh your feelings get hurt and it's like blah, blah, blah. whereas like if you're creating like music like that in our situation you've got to be able to have take if someone just goes that's I don't want to swear, but no. that's just terrible. There's absolutely and no go, time for feelings. Okay, it's terrible. Move yeah. on. You know, if yeah. it's especially someone whose opinion you um, respect, and they go, "That's not good," then you go, "Okay, how do I make it better?" Yeah. Instead of going, yeah. "What a jerk." Yeah. <laughs> well, team you know? yeah. 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 Tom has well, absolutely awesome. no time for feelings when it comes to music, yeah. but he's got all the time in the world for feelings for personal stuff, and that's what makes him such an amazing person to work yeah. with. Yeah. Sort of like when it's business, it's business. Yeah. Everything else you can. Yeah, but are you with. okay? Yeah. Mm. And you're like, oh, my fingers hurt from my fuck. Oh, <laughs> 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 that's not what I'm asking. Are yeah. you okay up here? Yeah. <laughs> not about your shitty fingers. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> he manages you guys now, huh? Well, kind, kind, of. Of. kind of. Yeah, we kind of work together. Okay. Because yeah. I'm better of a control freak, I quite like. Okay. Um, but I'm still like, I don't know what I'm doing. So. He's there to <gasps> sort of direct you. Yeah, 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 yeah. guiding us sort yeah. of thing. Does he sort of, like, does, is he okay being called sort of the, your manager? Yeah, definitely. He's, yeah. yeah, I say he's our manager because yeah. he is kind of like, if there's anything that get, comes to us and we don't really know how to deal with it, we're like... I'm just gonna put you on to my manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, like we've been doing this for a while, and we like a bit of DIY and stuff like that. So yeah. Any most questions we can field, but when they're kind of a bit more higher up than what we're used to, it's kind of like go to that guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> what if I say the wrong thing? 
<laughs> what if I get us somehow playing a Nickelback show? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> Great. No, that would actually be awesome. <laughs> the crowds would be outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like the, the, a Nickelback crowd would kind of just be there to see Nickelback. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Kiwi rock lovers, they might just be into it. They just might be into it. Get into it. Yeah. Yeah. You'd hope so, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, since announcing these decades, you've released Terrified. Mm-hmm. And that's just gone massive on the radio. Like, it's gone really. Did it get onto rotation? Yeah. 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 We like, just found out yesterday it's been bumped up as well. So yeah. I think that hopefully that's the result of the tour, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Well, people liking it, hopefully. It's <laughs> yeah, or maybe they've like been it. getting feedback requests or something. That'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. I know, but that it's just been, yeah, it's just been bumped up. But I we've been trying to listen to The Rock as often as we can on this tour because we're doing quite a lot of driving. Yeah. And we have not heard mm. it once, so I'm just like, I just want to hear it once. Yeah. Because it'd just be cool to like, because he lives up here and we live down there, so we haven't actually all just sat down and heard it live on the radio yet together yeah, or anything. Yeah. It would be quite cool, have a few beers, but yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. We've never had radio play before, so yeah. we're pretty yeah. stoked. <laughs> yeah. Did none of the Asha songs sort of, did they get sort of some? Sort of They're like, yeah, yeah. Um, in, indie radio and, and student radio and stuff like that, but not none of the major radio stations yeah. picked up any shy mm-hmm. stuff that's wicked it's sort of like sort of you announce this decade to release a song and things just sort of go and just step up like, yeah kind of almost straight away it, it's like an awesome payoff for all the hard yeah, work we put a lot of work in it kind of like, yeah. it'd be the thing like you just see bands maybe like go boom boom it's a lot of work yeah yeah, you know, so, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, man they just blew up like what the hell but like, <laughs> like they must have put in at least as much work as we've put in you know yeah. like, if not if more not yeah um i mean because you've been together 10 years so like that just because you're announcing decades now it's not like that didn't build anything before either, exactly you know? yeah. yeah we yeah. have played together for a long time yeah, yeah so it's kind of good the relationships <laughs> within the band really yeah. solid and, yeah what's been the public sort of public and industry response to terrified so far, so good. Haven't had anyone come up to us and say they hate it, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's your benchmark? That's yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we ain't on the radio. radio. <laughs> it was okay. Kind of looking forward to hearing something else, maybe. No, it's all been good. We've like had quite a significant increase in like private messages to, to our Facebook page oh, and cool. stuff from people that just hear it and just want to say I like it. A lot mm. of people asking where they can buy it. Yeah. And we're like on tour, <laughs> so come to a show. <laughs> um, industry response has obviously been great because the radio station likes it. Um, yeah. New Zealand on here gave us a grant, and yeah, I think it's been going good. Yeah, I think no, no complaints. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, there's been no complaints. I'm sure there's like some criticisms that we haven't heard, and maybe mm. Tom's fielded from us, but filtered them out. They're not ready for that. Keep the band happy. Yeah, they're not ready for that just yet. Yeah. from me. Yeah. And we had a good review after our last show in Auckland, so that that yeah. was good too. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. What have you guys got sort of lined up? So as a follow up to that. Are you asking what the next song is called? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we've got another single lined up. We're actually shooting a music video tomorrow. Yeah. And I have the title here, but I won't say it. Just so you guys can keep Well, going. we've been playing it live, so <laughs> no, we won't say it. Let's keep the mystery. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually, because at these shows, there's a few... Like, Villainy have some extreme super bands that oh, yeah. um, follow Big them around and stuff. And so they've become really familiar with our set as well and our music. And it's interesting now to start having a couple of them being like, I think that song should be the next single. Or this one, you're like, no, nope, that's not the next that's single. That's not it. Or they, they <laughs> think, Thank you. Or they hear, like, just them, <laughs> like, not... <laughs> the fact that we've already got it, the next single planned, and they're like, that should be the next single. And I want to be like, oh, great, we've already, like, oh, yeah. that's the next single. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, that might actually be a single, so... Yeah. yeah, so yeah, hopefully we'll get that out in the next month or so, oh, and sure. that will actually be on iTunes and stuff. Yeah, we're terrified <laughs> going out on iTunes. Then, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. it's so yeah, it's all been held up by some behind the scenes stuff, but it's actually kind of worked in our favour because then Tom was like, "You're gonna sell CDs on tour." And I was like, okay, well, we don't really have the money to get them printed. He's like, no, yeah. you're going to make them yourself. I was like, what? <laughs> How many? Well, I don't know, like 50 a show? I was like, oh, crap, that's like 350 CDs. <laughs> but it's actually worked out really well because then people are more inclined to want to pick it up because there's yeah. absolutely nowhere else they can find it. Which And they're handmade. Like, we've all had a hand in burning them, and I've done all the artwork. Mm. Um, 
So it's actually quite a cool wee memento, especially yeah, as definitely. our first release as well. Um, Memorabilia. Yeah, just having <laughs> that, like it's a cool wee thing that we've done for our first song. So yeah, yeah it's Instead annoying that it's not on iTunes. It, you know, you've but got the special sort of thing behind it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's cool. So it's kind of a pain that it's not on yeah. iTunes, but the fun of that other aspect is kind of cool as well so yeah for sure hopefully it'll be out there soon <laughs> so, maybe when the next song comes out yeah double <laughs> yeah. so you guys are on to uh, at the moment mm-hmm. with the last show tonight with Villainy and City of Souls mm. how's the how's the sort of tour been so far amazing it's yeah. like the coolest thing yeah. we've done yeah, yeah. yeah. apart from recording the album which yeah. was awesome but yeah. yeah it's been so cool I actually was just talking to Neil last night about what their plans are next and what our plans are next and I was like by the way like thank you so much because it's just like such a huge opportunity for us yeah. that we've just got one song out I actually say you know like a little bit emotional I was like we're going to stop talking about this because I actually am realising how appreciative I am yeah. of this opportunity yeah. Yeah. I don't want to cry yeah. <laughs> um, it's been so awesome we've gone to heaps of towns that we haven't played in before yeah yeah plus they get like their fans and the crowds are getting really cool. Like, so far, been really supportive and mm. into it. And, you know, all really people nice people. Just, yeah, seem to like like music and want to be out there. Yeah. yeah. So, I've been lucky to have the chance to play for them. Yeah, because we kind of thought as the opener that we'd be, you know, playing to maybe 20 people. People like to come out later. Yeah. Especially in our experience just gigging in the past, if we were the headline, it's like you like have the first two bands open, you're like, one's here yet and then when we finally play it's like thank god there's people here yeah. so we kind of expected that to happen to us but like every night a majority of the like crowd have been there when we've started so it's been really awesome for us to be able to play to people yeah. <laughs> actually have people yeah, yeah. see our stuff and and also with terrified being on the radio because we play it last like getting through all the set and people are like this band's pretty cool you can see them kind of dancing and they like don't really know who we are and then we play terrified and you just see them all go oh, oh that it's band. this that band. Band. i heard the song yeah. and then yeah it's been cool because then we get cool res- like response at the end and it's a really nice way to end our, our yeah. show so yeah the tour's been absolutely fantastic for yeah. us yeah. yeah like more than we could have asked for for yeah. our first kind of venture out into the live world yeah definitely so That's- thanks villainy <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. So the the guys on the tour, like you're on with Villainy and City of Souls, mm-hmm. and they're all like red ass dudes. Mm. Yeah. There's it sort of been any sort of tour antics or anything like that. I can I can kind of see some of them getting up to a bit of something. Yeah, a few of the City of Souls guys, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's been it's been great. Like, yeah, everyone's lovely. This is like the nicest group of bands we've toured with probably ever. Um, and everyone just gets along really well and yeah. it's been like a tour of love basically yeah, yeah. you all hang out <laughs> yeah. afterwards and stuff hey you all hang out afterwards and stuff like that it's not like everyone goes off to their own sort of pockets. no no definitely yeah. not. I mean people are like all wandering around the show but we all talk to each other and, ha- and hang out and stuff and do merch together and we all load in and we're all hanging out sound check together and mm. yeah we've all helped each other out with aspects of the tour that if someone's forgotten this or can't can't take that in their car or whatever it's just everyone's just like whatever you need like we can help like yeah it's really good yeah a collaborative sort of deal really nice culture between yeah. our three bands for sure the tour of love that's that was going to be referred to after this. the tour of love. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um what's been sort of because the crowds that i've seen so far have been huge mm. like have been really and they've been right into it as well mm. so what's been sudden from your perspective sort of opening up the night what's been one of the best crowds to Oh yeah, Dunedin. Dunedin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dunedin was crazy. Yeah. Well, Christchurch was really good. Like, like it was really good because Christchurch was sold out and was packed. It was, it was packed, our hometown. Right. Quite a few people there probably knew who we were, but quite a yeah. pe- quite a lot of people actually didn't. Because um, a lot of our friend, fans and friends in Christchurch are used to coming to our shows for free. And like forty bucks. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 what do you guys think you are? Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dunedin was. Like amazing, it was a space. Yeah, they were really crowd, but... getting into it as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like in between every song, because like I've obviously I've got like ear monitors in, and often I actually can't hear the crowd between songs. Yeah. But in Dunedin, they were like fucking hollering, eh? So yeah. it was like yeah. I could hear them. I was like, oh man, these guys are loving it. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, and we're like, what the hell? Why does <laughs> Dunedin like us so much? Scarfy, fa- scarfy factor. It yeah. was the same for the old bands because they started out there. 
you know, they started out hyped and then throughout the night by the time... Oh, man. So that end like, hype level was even higher. Yeah, oh, I'm man, just, it was hectic by the yeah, end, though. Yeah. It was crazy. People getting kicked out. Same as in Christchurch, but Dunedin just had that whole other level, like something that we haven't really experienced mm. before. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. People what? like crushing the barrier at the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw someone punch a light out just in pure aggression. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. Just yeah. like, yeah. like purposeful. Like just go loving you. rock music. Just go you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think like the the venue itself in Dunedin, the venue itself itself in Dunedin breeds that. It make I think okay. it inca- like I don't the ceiling's really low. Like even on the stage, yeah. the ceiling is like so. Richie from City of Souls like the tallest tall. guy yeah. on planet Earth. Yeah. And like the whole time when he was singing, he had to just have his hand because if he like kind of stood up or jumped up, he'd like whack his head. Mm. So it's like, I think it's that whole, like everyone's squashed in here and it's hot and it's steamy. Yeah. And it just like, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I think it helped like contribute to that vibe. Definitely. Yeah. But I was just want to say, Richie looked like a fucking badass being like, <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to bring that into it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> um, as Asha, you guys had like some pretty hardcore sort of fans help you out with the artist signal uh winning ten thousand dollars sort yes, of thing yeah like that's how does it how do you sort of because it's not just sort of the fans input into it it's like getting that following to be consistent in yeah. that sort of situation how much work was that like that would have been insane a, a lot like it was, it was like a month preparation leading yeah. up to that competition and then just trying to consistently keep the enthusiasm but I've never I've never experienced that like level of like like everyone was in it and we were just like all committed to doing it I've yeah. never experienced I have no idea how it happened like I don't know <laughs> if it was me that was helping facilitate that or if everyone was just like let's just On do board. this and let's get them 10 yeah. grand you know um but it's been really cool because with the whole recruitment of new people, trying to get new people to vote for us, we've created some new fans and friends and like a few, show, a few shows on this tour, they've come along to the mm. show yeah. and like we've met them and been like, hey, remember that time we spent a month not sleeping every yeah. day <laughs> and voting every You're hour? Welcome. Like yeah. now we're meeting in real life and that's so yeah. weird, you know, it's, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I don't, yeah I, that was a lot of work that month. I was waking up every hour in the night to vote for the whole month. And the first night that it had ended, (laughs) the first night that it ended, I was like, I'm going to sleep for like 13 hours. And my body clock just woke me up like kind of every hour and a half to two hours. Like, I might as well keep voting then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, next month's ticked over. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That was so intense. Yeah. Never, I'd never ever do that ever again. (laughs) But it was good (laughs) because we just, you know, we got the goal, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you sort of effectively took down quite a few bigger international bands as well that sort of saw this Kiwi band going for it and they're like, how the hell are they doing And who the hell are they? Sure. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was that one big band from Europe. They had like... They came in late or something. Yeah, and they had like 200,000 fans on Facebook and every time they made a post about people voting for them they'd like jump up like 10 places and be like whoa yeah, <laughs> but it was just a, I was like I hope they don't post about it every day and yeah. they didn't because they were on like this really big tour at the time so but they, all their fans couldn't figure out why this little band from New Zealand like were beating them they must yeah. be cheating it's yeah, like no we that. just literally yeah, have yeah. I don't know how but friends and family and fans just actually voting every hour yeah. I don't know how we managed to get them to do this they're all fucking crazy yeah <laughs> but they're crazy the with us the power of that sort of combined effort yeah um, and kind of being like the underdog and the little mm. guy I think also helped yeah yeah it was way more intense than crowdfunding but at the same time it's kind of easier than asking for money yeah you just yeah. need to click yeah asking yeah. for money just feels really shit and it yeah. was kind of cool just being like can you just push a button like yeah. every 16 minutes you don't even months? have to give us the money they'll yeah, give us yeah, the money yeah they'll yeah, do it the yeah <laughs> so it was kind of it was easier in that respect and yeah. you know same amount of goal we would want to try and raise so, and it just went straight it just went towards the album so it was yeah, yeah. perfect perfect timing as well because mm. it was actually around the time we started talking to Tom and he's like so how are you going to how are you going to fund this album I was like well we're doing this competition next month which I'm pretty sure we're going to win and he's like fuck off yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the most flimsiest thing I've ever heard I was like no trust me I think we actually yeah. will we've all gone out and bought lotto tickets so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. things are shaping up nicely we yeah. bought a $10 scratchy and yeah. we think 
we think we've got we've the got one. This. Yeah, <laughs> that's essentially it. Would have sounded like that to him. Yeah, yeah. But when we won it, I was like, "Told you." <laughs> we got the fans and the friends and the yeah. family. Yeah. Do you find it quite important having that? The effectively sort of your recruitment turned into a street team, sort of thing, or fan, or sort of like a more closer sort of yeah. fan club. Like, do you find it quite good in New Zealand or quite beneficial in New Zealand to have that sort of more we, we, dedicated support? I guess you'd say. I think so. As I opposed think, to just clicking follow. Yeah. Know, there's more mm. input. There's mm. like it's kind of different. Mm. Um, I guess like, I thought having the Swiss Street team would be cool, but then it was kind of like the more I posted in there, the less activity there was on our page, which okay. was kind of annoying because that's where we want people to really see what we're doing. So I'm, I'm yet to figure out how I'm going to do that dynamic yet. Yeah. Maybe I'll just only go in there when I need them to do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. kind of cool. It was cool the other day because you had that live video and you put like the whole live video in the Street team and then just... A clip on the main page. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah that's so a that. that's, that's the sort of feel for us. Like you guys really like us. Here's some exclusive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of cool because it's more of a forum where if any of our friends, family, or fans just want to ask us directly a question. Yeah. Um, then we're just in there and we can answer it. Yeah. yeah. Or if anything, you know that. Yeah, that they want to ask us. That it would be weird to post publicly on our Facebook <laughs> wall. So that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Yeah. Right, so what has 2016 got in store? Like, this tour is done. Next, what's up? More songs out. Yep, releases, singles. Hopefully the album this year. Hopefully by the end of the year. We're not really sure. We haven't actually really planned much, to be honest. We can't like. <laughs> <laughs> We're just waiting to see how, how the songs go. And, yeah. But, oh man, I think we definitely want to do another tour this year. Mm. Yeah, whether it's our own or, or someone else. We don't really mind. We just we've really enjoyed this one, so we're like, yeah. that's right. This is Ready actually to keep really fun. To get on there, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, can we just repeat this exact same tour with the same bands uh, again? I don't know. Yeah. Is that a thing? <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, the album out by the end of the year. Yeah, fingers crossed. But yeah, no, no fully concrete no plans. plans. No, yeah. just kind of vague goals. And yeah. then it's kind of like if they come into clarity, it's like grab them and yeah. do them. Yeah. yeah. Are one of those vague goals getting over to Oz for a couple of shows or anything like that? Not, not at the moment, not at no. The moment. We kind of just want to, I guess, for lack of a better term, clock New Zealand first, our, yeah. home, our home country. I think we made the mistake of going over to Aussie too early okay. with Ashai, but at the same time, that kind of connected us with Tom. It's a good so. life experience as well. Yeah yeah. 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 And we played with some cool bands over there. Yeah. So. Went to Dreamworld. We went to dream yeah, well. yeah. All the important stuff. Yeah. It was all worth it. That yeah. was definitely made it worth it. <laughs> yeah. No, no Aussie, no Aussie at the moment. Yeah. Well, not that we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who knows? What Unless happen. they're all like, come over, you're selling out gigs, then we'll go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've just sold 10,000 yeah. albums over here. Huh? Your song yeah. joined every radio station. Yeah. No biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Losing my mind. Yeah. yeah. So you're hoping, are you hoping to get the album out? In 2016, do you think? I would hope yeah, so. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. we'd, the want would be to get it out by then. Yeah, the want, definitely. Keep chatting forward. Yeah. yeah. Get some new music. <laughs> as long as no one <laughs> throws any big boulder, boulders at us that, yeah. that make us not be able to. But yeah, yeah. definitely. We want to get it out, yeah. touring it, and then on to the next one. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to just as much new music as possible. Yeah. yeah. And on that, Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. No problem. Thank and you. And now let's hear a couple of those songs. Yes. Shall we? <laughs> Red. Cheers. Man. All right, we're decades, and the song is called "If It Kills Me." One, two, three. I am kind. Won't you give it up? I thought we were closer than blood.
Brett.